Well, the animals are terrible nervous tonight for some reason or other. The old plow mule liked to kick my head off. I come up behind her sort of quiet like and she lashed out with both feet. Devil mist in the swampland. I could smell evil in it. Oh, will you stop talking like that? I'm so nervous now I could scream. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're watching PNT. I'm your host, at least in this reality. The one right now. I mean, I have no idea where or when you're actually watching this, but still, thanks for tuning in. Up front this week, according to an article by the Huffington Post and numerous online sources, Recent study results from Scotland suggest that Nessie might finally have been nixed. As PNT has reported previously, Dr. Neil Gemmel of the University of Otago, New Zealand, and his team have been taking hundreds of samples from around the infamous Loch Ness, hoping to finally shed some light on the mystery of the monster. Controversy has surrounded the existence of the creature in modern times, especially with the publication of the infamous Surgeon's Photograph in 1934. But historical manuscripts do detail an encounter with the beast by Irish monk St. Columbus in the 6th century AD. After spending the last year taking samples from numerous shoreline and depth locations from the loch, Gemmel and his team analyzed the DNA traces looking for any reptilian DNA that might indicate the presence of an unknown aquatic species, or possibly an evolutionary descendant of the plesiosaur, which matches many of the witness accounts. While the results did not show the presence of any reptilian DNA, they did disclose the presence of a huge amount of eel DNA, enough to indicate either a thriving population of thousands or possibly several much larger creatures. Gemmel cautioned that the results do not prove either theory, simply that eel DNA was found in abundance. For PNT's part, while we applaud Dr. Gemmel and his team for bringing a scientific approach to solving the mystery, we have to point out with some irony the real discovery made by the researchers, that trying to pin down the paranormal can often be a slippery business. From dinosaur DNA to beauty shop burglaries, our next story takes us to Texas, where one woman seems to have taken her beauty regimen to extremes. According to their social media post and numerous online articles, police in Sugarland, Texas, are searching for the woman that was caught on camera attempting to gain access to a Botox treatment clinic. After failing in her attempt to open the locked door, the unidentified woman then returns to her SUV and pulls out a portable power saw. Walking back to the door, the purposeful pilferer applies the tool to the door and begins to cut her way inside. Footage shows her eventually succeeding in her Botox burglary, making off with an undisclosed amount of products before making good her escape. Despite the footage, Sugarland police have been unable to identify the pernicious prowler and ask anyone with information to contact them. For PNT's part, while we have to admire the determination of our larcenous lifter, we have to point out the fact that it would have been far easier to simply smash the window rather than cutting your way to the cosmetics. I mean, really? We'll be back with the final part of our program in just a few minutes. But first, a word from our sponsor. Pet Milk Pete, a rough, tough guy. I'll shoot the whiskers off a fly. Why, I'll lick my weight in wildcats, too. The reason why, I'll give to you. I grew up on pet. Pet milk, the doctor said for me. A healthy lad needs vitamin D. My bones got strong, my muscles feel. They had to spring a tempered stale. I grew up on pet. 
I outgrew that bottle like a calf, then switched to pet mixed half and half. Pet sweet country milk with half the water out, so I put it back in right from the spout. <laughs> I grew up on pet. And all the time, Mom cooked with pet those meals I never will forget. At 18, I could punch a cow. I had my pet with coffee now. I grew up on pet. So take my tip, for old Pete knows that what you eat is how you grow. So grow up strong the pet milk way and have some pet milk every day. Welcome back. And remember, proper parents give their children pet milk to drink. For the final part of our weekly roundup of the weird, PNT is pleased to bring you a fascinating UFO sighting drawn from the MUFON database. Filmed on August 4th, the footage appears to show an odd object moving at high speed through the skies over Nottingham, Maryland. Let's have a look at the footage.
So what was the object captured on tape by one Maryland resident last August moving rapidly across the sky and outpacing a commercial airplane before vanishing utterly? Let's run down the possibilities. As usual, we can safely rule out birds, clouds, stars, and most astronomical phenomena such as meteors. Balloons, in this instance, could be a possible culprit. A reflective balloon broken free from a party could well account for the motion and the brief flashes of light we see coming from the object, but this fails to account for the apparent changes in speed as it follows the airliner or its mysterious ability to appear and disappear from a clear blue sky. Even if the object was a loose balloon blown randomly about according to the whims of the wind, this possibility starts to lose air when we consider the odd appearing and disappearing act. As we can see clearly under blue filter and edge detection, the object simply appears from nowhere before beginning to follow the airliner, easily matching and then surpassing the speed of the passenger jet. It then simply appears to wink out of existence, its investigation complete. Another factor to take into account, however, is the matter of perspective. Even with the foreground objects present in the beginning of the recording, the contrails and the airliner itself for size reference, the actual size of the object itself is very difficult to determine. There are two possibilities. Either this is a large object, easily the size of the airliner, at the same altitude as the flight, or this is a much smaller object that is much closer to the ground. That perspective is what brings us to our next possible explanation. Drones. Keeping that matter of perspective in mind, we can see that a drone could easily be mistaken for the UFO, and it would account how the object appears to easily match and even surpass the speed of the plane. As with balloons, however, the appearance and disappearance are still the major flaw. To the best of PNT's knowledge, no drones exist that are outfitted with a cloaking device, and if there are, we doubt the owners would be using it to chase commercial airlines. Which brings us to the next item on our list, small aircraft such as a private plane or a helicopter. Again here, we run into the same wall. No known craft can account for the properties shown in the video. Civilian aircraft, at any rate. As we can see, the area around Nottingham and Baltimore has no shortage of military installations. Is it possible that what we're looking at here might be a test of newly developed technology? Fibers that can literally bend light around the surface of an object, effectively rendering it invisible. Cloaks of concealment aside, the actual technology to achieve the dream of every Star Trek fan has been in development since at least 2014, with a recent breakthrough in January of last year. Is it possible that the military building upon these results has produced a functional aircraft with the ultimate advantage, invisibility? If so, why fly it over civilian center in the midst of heavy air traffic? Curious questions, indeed, that lead us to our final possibility, the unknown. Is it possible that the object filmed over a Maryland suburb is exactly what it appears to be, an unknown object that displays advanced capabilities that are currently beyond our technological reach? What if intelligences from elsewhere are observing Earth and its inhabitants, and gathering data for some unknown purpose, perhaps studying our advancement in order to determine our potential use to the greater galactic community. But this possibility raises an obvious and uncomfortable question, what that use will be, and whether or not it will be a benefit to us or to them. Cautionary thoughts to ponder as we look up to the stars and begin to dip our collective toes into the deep waters of wonder and terror that await us. But whether or not the object filmed last August chasing an airplane through the Maryland skies was a runaway party balloon, a cloaked military vessel, or something else entirely, we'll leave up to you to decide. Sound off in the comments section below with your thoughts. 
That's it for this time, faithful viewers. Be sure to click like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when PNT presents your next portion of The Paranormal. I'm your host, reminding you to keep an open mind. Because a closed one shuts out the truth. Dad! Oh, you wait here. I'll go get him.